This video will explain VLANs. VLANs are a way in which we can segment and organize our network. They allow us to plug multiple devices into a switch and allow those devices to be segmented into different groups, usually based upon a subnet. Typically what we've done in the past is we have plugged um, all of our devices into the switch and they have all been on the same VLAN, VLAN 1. With that, all broadcast traffic gets sent through that switch. Well, VLANs provide a way in which we can segment our network so that broadcast traffic and unicast traffic are sent only on the VLAN in which those groups are a part of. As I said, VLANs are typically linked to each individual subnet that you have on your network. So that's why it said it's based on logical connections instead of physical connections. In this example here, we have three different VLANs. We have VLAN number two, which is IT, VLAN three, which is HR, and VLAN four, which is sales. You can see how each one of these VLANs is linked up to each individual subnet. This is on the 10.040/24, 10.030/24, and the 10.020/24. So in this particular example, if one of the PCs on VLAN two were to send out a broadcast type of um, transmission, like DHCP traffic or an ARP request, only these three PCs would um, get that broadcast traffic. It would not be propagated out through the other switches and to the other, other devices in our VLANs. This can be a uh, big security benefit because now other devices are not going to get that traffic. We wouldn't be able to sniff the traffic on the network and see what is going through it. We could only see what is on our VLAN. We can see in this particular example um, that the VLANs are spread out amongst multiple switches, um, but it does not have to be that way. We could have three different PCs plugged into three separate ports on one, on one switch, and they could all be part of the IT VLAN. Each switch port can only be assigned to one VLAN. There is a, an exception with IP phones, that's a little bit beyond the scope of this class. So in this particular example, this PC here is plugged into this port right here. This port could only be part of the IT VLAN. Um, it could not be part of the HR and the sales VLAN. The graphic isn't the best here showing how uh, these PCs are only plugged into a single port, um, but that is the rule we must adhere to, is that, is that we can only assign one VLAN per port. VLANs provide many benefits for us. Like I said, they provide security. Uh, they can provide a cost reduction and definitely a performance increase as we're not having to um, sift through and process all of the different types of uh, broadcast traffic. They shrink our broadcast domains. They can improve IT staff efficiency. For example, someone in the IT staff might only be responsible for one VLAN in the network or one subnet in the network instead of everything that's going through that network and every, everything going through that switch. This can provide simpler project and application management because we're only dealing with one VLAN or one subnet. And as I said, and I keep repeating here, that each VLAN in a switch network corresponds to an IP um, network. So each individual subnet that you have on your